Hello everyone. Today, I want to show you how you can turn your photos into cool illustrations using the Stable Diffusion SDXL Automatic 1111 interface. Let's get started. For the Stable Diffusion model, I'm using Juggernaut XL version 5. You can download it from the Civit AI website. It's around 6 GB in size. Also, make sure you get the config file too. To find the path for the model, go like this. In your web UI folder, you'll find a models folder and then a stable diffusion folder. If you look here, you'll see I have both the safe tensor model and the YAML config file. If you already have ControlNet installed, you can skip this part. Now, go to the extensions tab, then click on available, and then click on the load from button to see all available extensions. You can sort them by stars, and you should find an extension named SD Web UI Control Net. As you can see, I've already installed this extension. Now, if you go back to Text 2 Image, you'll find a tab named Control Net. If you click on it, it will expand. This extension also needs various types of models. Let me show you what I use. Go to the Hugging Face website at this link, and you can find all the control net models available for SDXL. Download these models, Kohaya Control Light XL Kenny, then get the Diffusers XL Depthful, and the last one is Thibaut XL OpenPose 256 LoRa. You can download them using the tiny download arrow. Here's where you put them, in the Web UI folder, go to Extensions, then to the SD Web UI Control Net folder, and place all the files in the Models folder. Now I have this photo I took with my smartphone. It's a statue holding a candle. If you go to Control Net, you'll see an area where you can upload or drag your photo. Make sure you've checked the boxes for Enable and Pixel Perfect. Let's try our first model named Canny. You can hit the refresh button to update the list of models. For the model, I'm using Kohaya Control Lite XL Canny. And for the preprocessor, I'm using Canny. I like to use the My Prompt is More Important option. Now let's add a prompt that describes the type of illustration I want and a negative prompt with words that I don't want in my generated image. For the sampling steps, you can use 20 to 30 steps. For size, you can go with 1024 by 1024 or another size close to that if your image is in portrait or landscape mode. Double check to make sure you have everything, your prompt, the size, control net enabled, and both a preprocessor and model that work with SDXL. When you're ready, hit generate. This is our first try using the Canny model. Now let's try another control net option, the depth map. For the preprocessor, I'm using Depth Midas. And for the model, I'm using Diffusers XL Depth Full. I forgot to show you what the Canny map looks like. It captures the outline of your photo and tries to keep those lines when it generates the image. Let's test the depth map now. I got nice results. Some of the mistakes can be fixed in Photoshop, but the character has three feet, so it's easier to just hit generate to get another version. The depth map looks like this. What's in white is closer to the camera, and what's in black is further away. This generation looks good, although it still has some errors around the hands and the bowl. I'll show you later how to fix that. Lastly, I'll test the open pose model today, which only works with people. For the preprocessor, I'm using open pose full, and the model is Thibaut XL Open Pose 256 LoRa. Hit generate when you're ready. As you can see, this one keeps the pose of the character but looks pretty different from our original image. So, depending on what you're going for, you can play around with different models to see which one gives you the best results. Generate multiple versions and pick the ones with fewer errors. Let's open a version in Photoshop that has some errors to see how we can fix them. For example, I don't want this bump on his head that's called Ushnisha. 
you can easily remove things you don't want using the remove tool. I try to keep the edge of the brush close to the edge of the head for a clean removal. Do the same for the hand around the bowl and the feet. Once you like the result, save the image. In Stable Diffusion, there's a button that sends everything from the Text to Image tab to the Image to Image tab, so you don't have to copy settings and prompts manually. I'll delete the existing image and replace it with the one I just edited in Photoshop. You can leave Control Net on if you want, but for this example, I'll turn it off. For denoise strength, I'll try a value of 0 0.4. If your video card has a lot of memory, you can even try a larger size, like 1600px. Hit generate and let's see what we get on the first try. It looks good, but it tried to add some extra hands and feet again. So, I'll lower the denoise strength value a bit more, maybe to around 0 0.3. Hit generate again. And this time the result is very close to what I want. This is the final result. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Have a great day.